Back in 2001, English singer-songwriter Dido had a lot to thank Eminem for. The 8 Mile rapper had introduced her to the US by incorporating the first verse of her song Thank You into his number one single Stan. Um, I mean he was always very he was always very sort of uh, sort of you know thankful for me because he liked the song you know I mean he and it was sort of a nice it was a very nice sort of mutual thing between us I think we both just really enjoyed the song we enjoyed performing it and I think um, you know it's just it's all good and I was of course I'm thankful to him it's great I mean there's loads of things I'm thankful to through throughout my years you know there's many many people and um, but he's definitely one of them. Thank You had also been included on the soundtrack of the 1998 film Sliding Doors, helping to ensure maximum exposure for the release of Dido's debut album No Angel. It went on to become the biggest selling album of 2001 across the globe and sold 21 million copies. On the eve of the release of her second album in 2003, Critics wondered if Life for Rent could top such an impressive debut. I mean, it's my second album. I still, I still feel like a beginner. You know, if this was my seventh album, I might be able to sort of be jaded and stuff, but I'm not. I just think it's exciting. Fans who woke up at 5.30 in the morning to hear her play at the London launch weren't disappointed. I thought it was actually very, very good. Yeah. Um, I like the way she played old stuff and new stuff together because I thought they'd just be playing new stuff to promote the album. But then Dido had been singing professionally since she was 16, alongside her older brother Rollo, who's the driving force behind UK dance act Faithless. In fact, it was her vocal contributions to some of the band's early recordings that helped her score her first record contract. After her sellout world tour of 2005, she contributed to Rollo's side project Dusted by performing vocals on a few tracks and writing three songs on the album. She also co-wrote the Britney Spears hit, I'm Not a Girl, Not Yet a Woman. After taking so much time out to work on other people's projects, she was finally ready to release her third album, Safe Trip Home, in November 2008. Although it attracted far less publicity and sales than her first two releases, she has assured fans she's hard at work on a fourth album and we'll back that up with a tour.